dark side of dolphins. Dolphins are known to be social animals. They're generally part of groups called pods. Some pods are made up of only a few dolphins, but others are very large, containing over a hundred creatures. Dolphins live in groups for protection and often work together to catch food. In addition, if a member of the group is injured, they support it by feeding it and helping it to the surface to breathe. Dolphins also like living in groups because they enjoy playing. They are often observed chasing each other, play fighting and jumping up to 4.9 metres into the air. The language of dolphins has fascinated marine biologists for decades. They communicate with whistles and clicks, and it appears that each dolphin sounds slightly different, so they can tell each other apart. It is even believed that every dolphin has a name. This is a whistle that refers only to them. Dolphins use body language to communicate, too, and even show affection by bumping into each other or swimming along with their fin touching another dolphin. They also use echolocation. The same technique bats use out of the water, which involves bouncing sounds off objects to determine their location. Dolphins like company, and they can talk in their own unique way. They're intelligent, and their behaviour can seem very human at times. They even look like they're smiling. Perhaps that's why people have always been attracted to these charming sea creatures. Swimming with dolphins is a life experience many people have on their lists. But some dolphins have a darker side. They have been observed killing creatures like birds and porpoises, not for food, but for fun. There is also evidence that full-grown dolphins have hurt and even killed younger ones. This came to light in the 1990s, after nine young dolphins washed up on the beaches of Virginia, USA. When investigated, it was confirmed that they had all died in attacks by their elders. If this smiling sea creature can turn on its own young, what could it do to other species, like humans? This question prompts us to rethink the wisdom of swimming with dolphins. They are, after all, wild animals. Perhaps they should be treated as such, rather than the tame, cute and comical pets we often assume them to be.